A very large upper level low is currently over the western United States right now. In fact, this is over Idaho. And you can see these little blues in the radars. Let's go ahead and stop the radar and back it up to this morning. See these little blues right in here? This is snowfall. And yeah, you're thinking, wow, snowfall in June. Snowfall in western Montana and into Idaho. And eventually, as we loop this, the snowfall is eventually going to make it into the Yellowstone National Park area. So if anyone's in Yellowstone today or tonight, you're going to get some snowflakes falling in the area. Now, we have three watches in effect here at AlternativeWeatherService.com. Uh, these watches are a severe thunderstorm watch in the New York and Pennsylvania area for severe thunderstorms uh, popping up today. we got a tornado watch in Montana, Wyoming. South Dakota and North Dakota and then depending mesoscale discussion for Iowa, South Dakota, Minnesota and Nebraska. Now we switch the radar over to those areas and turn off the satellite. Well, let's, let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, we're looking at this uh, visible satellite image and you can see what's going to be happening is we got a lot of dry air around the Grand Island and North Platte and McCook, Nebraska area and this dry air is going to be feeding into moist air from Omaha and Norfolk. Now, what we're looking at is going to be a warm front extending all the way from about Wayne to Sioux City and then all the way to through northern uh, Iowa. Uh, this warm front is going to be popping in some supercell thunderstorms probably over Wayne to Sioux City uh, this evening and then eventually into Storm Lake. Pretty interesting name for a city, Storm Lake. And yes, they're going to be storming this evening. Now, the Mexico discussion here at AlternativeWeatherService.com outlining the area. Now, I was iffy on issuing a watch, but I'm starting to get more confident in going with a full tornado watch uh, across parts of northeast Nebraska and into Iowa. We're going to be looking at the Sioux City area and Storm Lake for uh, tornadoes this evening. In fact, uh, what we're going to be doing is pulling in the sin. It's called sin, and this is going to be what the cap is. Now, a cap is an area of warm air uh, above an area of cooler air. So, we don't get any condensation when the cooler air particles uh, hit the warmer air. And we're going to pull that up right now. This is this morning. The blue area signifies a very capped atmosphere. A lot of warm air in the mid-levels. And then we're going to look at now. And you can see that the, the levels of uh, cap with the light blue and even the gray where there's no cap is starting to develop. In fact, we're looking at an area right here in northeast Nebraska. It's going to be moving across Norfolk, Wayne, Pender. Same areas that uh, thunderstorms moved through yesterday and uh, destroyed the town of Pilger, uh, Nebraska with a wedge tornado. Now, the storms are going to be forming into Iowa and then moving all the way across northern Iowa through Minnesota and eventually Wisconsin overnight. As for the other tornado watch, I put the map in motion. You can see the storm system moving through the eastern Montana area. And you can see storms already developing across Miles City, Terry, Circle, Glendive, and Jordan. This is going to be where your tornadoes are going to be We're around this area. In fact, let's pull up that watch box again. We'll put that on the side. Watch box shows that that's what I issued. And again, these are issued with lead time. So what you're waiting for in your news, like whether the news is going to show you a tornado watch or not, that's the government weather source that's issuing those tornado watches. But at AlternativeWeatherService.com, as I stated in the other video yesterday, we issue them uh, right, like a lead time is six hours or even more uh, sometimes. So uh, that's what you're going to get at AlternativeWeatherService.com. Tornadoes are expected in this area and then we move all the way over to New York and Pennsylvania severe thunderstorm watch I have and you can already see thunderstorms uh, crossing the Great Lakes and then crossing western Michigan eventually they're going to develop into the Pennsylvania area uh, later on this evening so once again go to alternativeweatherservice.com for all your weather alert needs sign up for the free email alert system when our watches go out on the site you will be notified via the email if your email is hooked up to your phone then it's good because your phone will do a little ding saying you got an email and then you see a watch from us and you get to pick different areas of what alert systems or everything like that so it's really nice where you get to pick what area of the state you're in i'm not going to work on counties right now because you say you pick a, a county and um and say in Nebraska and you're picking a county where you live in North Platte or something like that and you live there and then all of a sudden I issue something for grants and then that storm system's moving in your area and I don't have a watch for you but you're going to pick different areas of the state that you're in. So go to AlternativeWeatherService.com, go ahead and sign up if you haven't and enjoy. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.